Hi, it's Dr. Centeno. We're going to talk about a very hot topic right now in PRP, and that is how PRP concentrations affect tendon healing. This past few years, there's a concern that if you go too high on the PRP concentration in a tendon injection, you can hurt the tendon. And it's based on these culture studies that seem to show that as you go higher in the concentration of PRP, like on the left there, you end up getting less tendon cell proliferation, meaning you're hurting the tendons. Same thing here off on the right. This study seemed to show as you got higher past a plateau point, you actually hurt the tendon cells. So those two studies show that go higher on PRP and you're going to end up hurting a tendon. However, these two studies go the opposite direction. One on the left looks at three different types of fibroblasts, and as you go higher on the PRP concentration, the cells do better. This one over here on the right shows the same thing. Go higher on the PRP concentration, and the cells do better. So now we have two studies that go the other direction and say going higher on PRP concentration helps tendon cells in culture. Our own internal research shows pretty much the same thing. As you go higher on the platelet concentration, stem cells do better up to a certain point, but they don't go back, doesn't go back down, or it doesn't hurt the cells. So what's up? Well, the first two studies used a very problematic design, and the second two studies and our own internal research didn't make that mistake. So here's what happened. All cells in culture need certain components to survive and grow. They need food, which in this case in culture is called MEM, and they need fertilizer or something to prompt them to grow, which in this case is PRP. The first two studies needed to add more and more PRP fertilizer. And as they did that by volume, they crowded out the amount of food by volume. So regrettably, they kind of screwed up. As they increased PRP, they decreased the amount of food available for the cells. Now, the other studies I showed you didn't make that mistake. As they increased the amount of fertilizer, they kept the amount of food constant. So what looked like higher concentration of PRP killing tendon cells is really an artifact of starving the cells of the food they need to survive. So there is no credible evidence that higher PRP concentrations hurt tendon cells. And I'd like to throw just a really big shout out to two members of our research team, Nevin Steinmetz and Dustin Berger, who really helped ferret this out and dig into this research to try to figure out what was going on. So thanks guys so much and have a wonderful day.